Hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up with the Queen. Today is a very exciting day. We are talking about the whole Pat McGrath's new, brand new Divine, Divine Lush, Lush collection. collection. I have here the blush, the highlighter, and oh well, the blush, the highlighter, and the eyeshadow quad. We are going to get ready together and then review this product at the same time. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you like my content, you enjoy my videos, please make sure you consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell notification button so you'll be notified whenever I post a new weekly video. I have here the Divine Blush which is retailing for 38 US dollars, the Divine Glow Highlighter which is 48 US dollars, and the Venus Influence Luxe Eyeshadow Quad in Voyeuristic Vixen for 58 US dollars. I got three of them in the whole set for I believe 110 dollars. I know. And right now there is a 10% discount on Pat McGrath website. So if you want to grab these products, now is the time. When you get more than one product at the same time, you will get a little bit of a discount on the set too. Make sure you check out her website. It's also sold in Sephora. I don't think this is a limited edition collection. That's all the information that I cannot believe I run through in less than three minutes. First of all, I want to show you the packaging. The packaging is the tea of this collection. I think it is gorgeous. It's my favorite packaging ever. But when did Pat McGrath fail in packaging? Never. For the Divine Lush, you have the expiration date and information on the back there. 9.7 grams or 0.34 ounces of blush in here. It's made in Italy and it expires after 18 months if that's important to you. It opens up like this you guys and then the blush can sit in it and then you take it out. Desert Orchid. If I can open it. Oh beautiful pattern in here too. Wow, this is like a neutral coral shade, I have to say. It's not like bright orange. Let's put the blush on and then we'll do the swatching later, okay? Let me make sure my blush brush is clean. I did test out the NARS Orgasm on the Beach cheek palette yesterday. I believe the video is already up. I will link it up here or in the description box for you to check it out but today we'll compare them too. I'm going to dip into this stunning blush and we're just gonna put it on. I was a little bit worried that it's not gonna show up well on me but thankfully I was wrong. It's pretty pigmented. This shade is gonna be stunning for summer. That is the blush. What do we think? I think it is lovely. Um, I just remember that I didn't put on eye makeup besides mascara, so we will do a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm not gonna talk much about the quad today. Well, because look at this terrible accident. We're not going to talk about it. We are going to wait until the new palette arrives and we're going to do a dedicated video. But today, let's just um, use the shades that are not um, damaged. I hope you like how it looks right now. I did add a little bit more blush just because I feel like after I did my eye look, it was a little washed out and Oh my god, this quad is pretty nice. The highlighter, which is 48 US dollars, is called the shade is Golden Nectar. It's the same packaging like the blushes, but the highlighter just come in bland. It doesn't really have a pattern like the other one did. Like the blushes. I believe there are like seven or eight shades of blushes and it's hard to believe Pat McGrath never came out with blushes before. I, I never thought of that. I thought, oh, there must be a blush somewhere in her line. But yeah, this is the first time she came out with blush. And apparently everyone is very excited for them. 
and this shade is working really well on my skin tone. This Desert Orchid shade is one of the three shades that are lighter in the collection. The rest of the shades are going to go medium and deep. So I'm glad that I stayed with the light because personally I like a more beautiful blush experience and I like to make my blush look a little bit more natural and not so harsh. So this is the perfect kind of shade. And with a warm undertone like this blush, it's a coral but it has a little bit of muted pink and a lot of beige in this color that why that is why it's so much more natural on my skin tone and it's very flattering on warmer skin tone like mine yes enough for that let's go to the golden nectar shade it's quite glittery actually i'm gonna use this brush and we're gonna put on my face maybe i put a little too much on the brush okay Whoa. Okay, that's enough for that side. <gasps> wow. Pigmentation is so nice with these blushes and highlighters. It's really pretty. Okay, now that I'm building up slowly. You Can you see that? I think you can. I'm gonna glow to the gods right now. It's almost like as pigmented as like a eyeshadow. If I go really close like this to the uh, camera, you can see the texture because I think I built up a little too much. So let me blend it out with a fluffy brush with nothing on. This is my powder brush. I can't lie, I, I feel divine right now. It's time to do some swatches. I'm not gonna do the eyeshadow today. We'll save that for the eyeshadow video, but we are going to do the blush and the highlighter today, and I have some comparison to show you. First of all, let's do the blush. Oh, I'm so sad that I'm ruining this beautiful pattern, but it's pretty deep in the pan, so I think it's gonna stay for a while. This is the blush in the shade Desert Orchid. It is very creamy. It has a little bit of a sheen. It's a soft coral beigey shade with a little bit of a golden shift, but it's a very slightly dewiness. It's not a dewy blush. It's more of a velvet finish. And then this highlighter, I think is, yes, as I expected, as it's so creamy and so pigmented. They're not gonna be super clear in the swatches because, you know, they're pretty close to my skin tone, but they're beautiful regardless. I hope you can see how reflective the highlighter is. And on my finger right here, I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to flick you off, but it almost has like an orange flip. So it is a champagne, a light golden champagne, but it has this very interesting orange or like a bronzy flip. So the shade name Golden Nectar is very accurate. Now let's do some comparison. I want to compare first the Golden Nectar formula wise with, um, of course, Becca Moonstone I have right here. Natasha Denona Tan Palette. There is a highlight shade. I'm gonna compare that to yeah it, the highlight in the tan palette is very similar feeling to it and the new orgasm on the beach by NARS there's the shade right here which is the most glittery the formula feels a little bit different but let's see so this is Becca Moonstone this is Natasha Denona tan palette and this is a NARS Orgasm on the Beach. So of all the four highlighters, of course they're not the same colors, but we're talking about formulas here. The one in the tan palette by Natasha Denona has the most similar kind of a glitteriness or metallicness. The Becca and the NARS are less glittery or less glowy from the tan one. Natasha Nona is very similar. It's very creamy to the touch. It's glide on, it's pigmented. 
It is intense. Anne blushes. Wise, I think. I don't think there's any dupe in here to compare with the Nars Orgasm on the Beach, which I am very much enjoying. If you want to see swatches of this palette, head on to that video. And I have a Jouer blush palette with this marigold shade that is kind of similar. So let me swatch it. There we go. It is for sure less pigmented than the new Pat McGrath blushes. It feels more powdery and it is more matte. It's a more flat finish compared to the Desert Orchid. And there is another shade, um, the orangey shade right here, which is called Treasure Me. It's an orange, so let me just swatch it for fun. It's a dewy finish, that's why I want to compare. Yeah, so this is a dewy finish in the Jouer palette, blush palette, and this is the matte finish blush in the same palette. And funny, the Desert Orchid from Pat McGrath, the one in the middle, dewiness is the middle too, so there's the matte, and this is kind of a velvet finish, and then this is a dewy blush. You can clearly see the um, little glitter particle in them. I think I really like this collection. I, I do like the highlighter. I think this is something I don't have, especially because it has a little bit of a flip, a bronzy golden flip into the highlight. It's very nice. Yeah, it's easier to see in person, and I would say the highlighter, you have to go more light-handed. I kind of go crazy because I want to show you on camera, but a little bit goes a long way. You do have a lot of product in here. It's quite expensive by itself, though, so if you can wait for a sale or get it in a kit, then I would recommend trying it. I believe there are a few more shades in the highlight collections from Pat McGrath by now. I could be wrong, so you should double check on that. The blush, I really love. I think it is it is comparable to the NARS formula in the way that it's very smoothing, it's more buildable, it's not intense pigmentation right away, especially for the lighter shades. And so I think I picked the right one. It's a little bit more pigmented than NARS. Again, you have quite a bit of product in here, but it's kind of expensive. It's almost $40 per, per blush. So if you can get it in a kit or wait for a sale, then I would recommend that. These blushes also go really deep in the range of colors. So I would make sure you think carefully to not get the, the ones that is not suitable for your skin tone. Because if you know Pat McGrath, she caters toward a lot of different skin tones. So some of them are really deep and I'm glad I got this one. This is probably the perfect shade for me in the range. I'm also interested in Love Struck, with, which is a matte formula. This is the creamy or I think velvet formula of the blush. In the same collection, there is a matte formula as well. So I like the Love Struck shade which is a matte berry pink, and I think I have to check that out at some point. But yes, that's it for this video. I promise I'm done. It's been a long day. I cannot wait to take a shower, and I know take a shower, take all of this off. Yes, talking about being a YouTuber. So please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's a way of you telling me that I've done a good job and keep going, that kind of an encouraging talks and leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of this divine rose collection are you interested in any of these are you into pat mcgrath or you think she is overhyped and over your budget because it's kind of over mine i'm just wanting this collection so badly that i need to get it but yeah we'll talk about the eyeshadow quad in another video I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful night, and until next time, please, don't flop.